Yo, 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 what's good, guys? Welcome to our new channel. This is the new Gorilla Beast channel. We're going to be uploading beats, vlogs, and also tutorials. So make sure y'all stay tuned, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. All right, so before we get into it, I'm going to be using a loop from my drum kit, Seven's World. That's going to be dropping real soon. So y'all keep a look on that. Keep a look out for it. That's how it sounds. <laughs> So let's just get straight to it. Now, one thing I want to emphasize is having good drums, good sound selection. So I'm also be using my the songs from my drum kit. Let me just delete these three real quick. Make sure this fluid limiter is off too. That's also key to having your drums knock. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose the songs I want to use for this beat. Alright, so here I have all the songs I'm going to use. It's an 808. So, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and start with the 808 first. So, let's make sure we put a pattern in the playlist like where you want it to, to play. I'm probably going to make them eight, eight bars long each. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and make the 808 pattern real quick. Be right back with y'all. Alright, so did the 808 pattern already? So that's how it sounds. And basically how I did these rows here is, let me just do it over here for you guys. What I did was, I selected it, then I went up here to the snap to grid tool, put it on one sixth, and you see if I press control U to chop it, this is how it looks. Now you could also do it like this, which is better, just one turn, and yeah, you get the one, the effect I have just now, but then I had this off I think, and this gone too. And then what I did is right click, and drag this up. So that's how you get that, that roll over there. And over here, that roll is with the one third step, I think. It was, yeah, one third step. Let us chop that note right there. And then over here, we have the same thing I did over here, but then just with the rest of the note still. Alright, so next thing I will go to is the clap, you know, that's simple. Let's just put it over here one time. Just a steady bounce you have. My bad. Here too. And you just clone this, like right click, select, control B to duplicate. drop in a snare or something. And if we, I forgot to put this back on step. Probably add the same thing to this layer. Layer the clap with a snare to make it sound more full. See here I'm playing with the levels of the of the sounds, so like I'm blending them together. You know, we could just put a two-step hi-hat one time. How I did that was control L. You extend all the notes to each other. I made them legato. 
cool feature I sometimes use on my hats is like what I would do is send this to the mixer track. Move this over here, my alt right arrow key, and then use effect tricks. Let's put this on one eight. See, so you can also make hi hat chops with that, but like if you want to do it manually, you can also go into piano roll and for like this type of beat around 125 bpm i would use like third step chops probably over here and zoom in let's control u and then maybe play with the velocity too i don't really like this one so much so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just go, go ahead and finish the hi-hat pattern and then come back to you guys. Okay, so this is the hi-hat pattern I came up with. So we do Then we're just gonna drop another open hat in this. I think I know just a place for it probably over here at the end. I think what I'm gonna do is just control the end of this open hat by controlling left clicking and then dragging this over here and then go to envelope by the envelope you bring on the attack and the hold or oh no my bad the hold you put up DK bring down sustain you bring down and release and then it's gonna make it you're gonna control how you want your hi-hat to sound, like when you want to stop playing and, and also where it starts. So if I bring this down here, it's gonna sound shorter. So I like that. I like that more than the original, so let's use that. I want this to bring out a little bit. For the kicks, that, like, that's the last thing I'm going to go on. For the kicks, you just layer some of the 8 of with the kicks. So, let me just show you guys an example. So you layer, layer it a bit like this. drums already but I'm gonna go play with the levels to make sure everything sounds good together so yeah there you have it that's how the drums sound and what I would put on the mask just to make sure my mix isn't clipping I'll just throw a soft clip on there and then I think one thing I noticed though is that the lows of my, my melody is clashing with my drums. So what I'm gonna do is just put this over here. Get a parametric EQ in there and just EQ the low end out. And that's it. That's how, that's how I do my drums. And also, that's how you get your drums to hit hard using the soft clip on your master, but also using all the levels in FL Studio here. So that's it guys, peace.
guys thanks for watching if you guys learned something make sure you guys like the video hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell for future videos and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace